Usually when a government project fails or has poor management that leads to the deterioration of the project results and the low quality of its results, the project is restructured and among the changes that occur to the project is the change of name. Project Sign and Classic UFO Investigations Part 1 Project Sign is an extension of Project Twinkle to investigate UFO sightings. 1949 Project Twinkle was the first project to investigate UFO sightings. The investigation first case was about a number of sightings described as green fireballs was reported in the skies of the southwestern United States, particularly New Mexico, beginning in late 1948. Such sightings worried some in the government, who noted that the reports were often made near sensitive research and military installations, such as Los Alamos and Sandia National Laboratory. And it ends with these recommendations. Since the findings to date cannot be considered conclusive, it appears that the following recommendations would be pertinent. No further fiscal expenditure be made in pursuing the problem. This opinion is prompted partly by the fruitless expenditure during the past year, the uncertainty of existence of unexplainable aerial objects, and by the inactive position currently taken by Holloman AFB as indicated by the standby status of the project. Project Sign was an official U.S. government study of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, undertaken by the United States Air Force, USAF, and active for most of 1948. It was the precursor to Project Grudge. The Army Air Force was, in one form or another, involved in investigating UFOs beginning with the 8th Army's investigation of Foo Fighter reports during World War II. The AAF also sent intelligence officers to investigate many of the early sightings, but did not, at that point, take them very seriously. However, sightings in 1947 by military personnel of UFOs over Muroc AFB, White Sands Proving Grounds, and other sensitive installations got the AAF's attention quickly. Classified orders went out that all UFO reports were to be sent to the Technical Intelligence Division of the Air Material Command at Wright-Patterson Airfield. In the late summer of 1947, when the Air Force had become an independent branch of the military, Air Intelligence at the Pentagon requested a report from Air Material Command regarding what was known about flying disks. On June 24, 1947 while flying his small airplane near Mount Rainer, Washington, businessman Kenneth Arnold said he witnessed nine disc, or saucer-like aerial objects. A month later he added that one was actually more crescent-shaped. By pacing their progress against known landmarks, Arnold conservatively calculated their speed at a then fantastic 1,200 miles per hour. Arnold, widely considered a sincere and credible witness, earned major press coverage, and his was easily the most prominent of the more than 800 flying saucer reports made by Americans in the summer of 1947. Because of their extreme maneuvers that would kill a human pilot, Arnold initially concluded he'd witnessed either the test flight of a new military remote-controlled weapon or that the objects were from another world. Sign's first major investigation occurred in the aftermath of the widely publicized Mantell incident. On 7 January 1948, Air Force pilot Captain Thomas Mantell crashed his aircraft near Franklin, Kentucky, while in pursuit of a UFO. Numerous eyewitnesses, both civilian and military, had reported a large, metallic object in the skies. Mantell was one of four pilots on a nearby training mission who were ordered to investigate. Upon reaching about 10,000 feet, 3,000 meter, Mantle's companions abandoned their pursuit due to a lack of high-altitude oxygen gear. Mantell continued, however, and reportedly described the aerial artifact as a metallic object it is of tremendous size. Mantell is presumed to have blacked out from oxygen deprivation at about 15,000 feet, 4,500 meter, whereupon his airplane crashed and he died. The USAF formally announced that Mantell had died in pursuit of the planet Venus. Sign's personnel never accepted this explanation, and regarded the incident as an unknown. Some believe that Mantell died while chasing a then-secret Skyhook high-altitude weather balloon. 
The project was established in 1948 by Air Force General Nathan Farragut Twining, head of the Air Technical Service Command, and was initially named Project Saucer. The goal of the project was to collect, evaluate, and distribute within the government all information relating to UFO sightings, on the premise that they might represent a national security concern. At first the project hypothesized the sightings might be Soviet secret weapons. However, Project Sign's final report, published in early 1949, stated that while some UFOs appeared to represent actual aircraft, there was not enough data to determine their origin. Almost all cases were explained by ordinary causes, but the report recommended a continuation of the investigation of all sightings. The commander of the Air Material Command at Wright-Patterson, Lieutenant General Nathan F. Twining, held a conference with persons from the Air Institute of Technology, Intelligence T-2, the Office of Chief Engineering Division, and the the Aircraft, Power Plant, and Propeller Laboratories of Engineering Division T-3. As a result of this conference, on September 23, 1947, Twining sent a secret memorandum to Brigadier General George Shulgin, Chief of the Air Intelligence Requirements Division that concluded. The phenomenon reported is something real and not visionary or fictitious. There are objects probably approximating the shape of a disc, of such appreciable size as to appear to be as large as man-made aircraft. There is a possibility that some of the incidents may be caused by natural phenomena, such as meteors. The reported operating characteristics such as extreme rates of climb, maneuverability, and actions which must be considered evasive when sighted or contacted by friendly aircraft and radar, lend belief to the possibility that some of the objects are controlled either manually, automatically, or remotely. Project Sign was first described in the 1956 book The Report on Unidentified Flying Objects. Air Force Captain Edward J. Ruppelt who later directed Project Grudge and Project Blue Book. In this he also claimed that Sign had produced an estimate of the situation, which endorsed an interplanetary explanation for UFOs, but General Hoyt Vandenberg, Chief of Staff of the Air Force, shut down Project Sign for lack of proof. No copy of this document or any other corroboration of Ruppel's claim has been produced, and popular mechanics called the report, probably more mythological than real. Project Sign was followed by Project Grudge after a conclusion was reached that evaluations of UFOs were a necessity of military intelligence in a post-war climate.